welcome to Ashley's Tipsy Kitchen. I'm Ashley and today is of course Tipsy Tuesday. So today's Tipsy Tuesday is actually because of one of my very favorite shows growing up was The Gilmore Girls. I was obsessed with that show and I'm not gonna lie, I kind of still am. I have every season on DVD, I've watched it more times than I'm comfortable recounting and I love it. So for those of you who like me, love the show, you probably know that on November 25th, Netflix is releasing a whole new season of Go More Girls and I am so freaking excited. I am literally going to binge on the whole season in one sitting, if at all possible. So today I am going to make the Rory. Um, so for those of you that may not have followed the show, when Rory turns 21, her grandmother Emily throws her this lavish over the top 21st birthday party um, with a bartender who makes a signature drink called the Rory. So that is what I'm presenting you with today. So just a note, this is an oversized martini glass. So your standard martini glass is going to hold between five and six ounces. This one holds just over 10 ounces. So the recipe that I'm going to be giving you is actually a recipe that would fill two standard martini glasses. Just a heads up. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with vodka. This is just regular good old fashioned vodka. And we are going to be using two ounces. Excellent. All right, and we're going to pour this into our shaker. I already have some ice in here. And then to that, we are going to add three ounces of pineapple juice. And then finally, three quarters of an ounce of grenadine. Alrighty, perfect. Okay, we'll put the lid on, shake it up. And then we're going to strain it into our martini glass. And then because Emily is Emily and nothing is done that isn't super fancy, we are going to top this with champagne. Alright, so we can do this without making a big old mess. Now you want to be very careful when pouring the champagne. You want to try, if at all possible, to pour it slowly and just down the inside of the rim. That way it doesn't foam up. Um, if you've ever made mimosas, you know what I'm talking about. Ooh, they got some fizz going on here. So you're gonna to be topping this with about, probably close to four ounces of champagne. And in the show, they garnished with a maraschino cherry. I'm not doing that because honestly, I hate maraschino cherries. I feel like they're disgusting. But if you want to be true to the show and you like maraschino cherries, please feel free to drop one of those in there. And there you have it. You have a Rory. Hopefully you make a couple of these while binging on Netflix because you know that is what I'm going to be doing as soon as possible. Cheers and happy Tipsy Tuesday. I'll see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and definitely give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and you want to see more like it. Bye!